Outfits from Around the World, written by Benedict Coulter, illustrated by Tanil Yao Um and Kathleen Staley. Today we gathered for council in the lodge with Chief Lone Eagle. Every Thursday at school, we grab our lunch and head out to hear great stories about our people. This is my favorite part of the school day. When we arrived, we saw the chief standing outside wearing an incredible headdress. He handed each one of us unique vests that had the most intricate beadwork and designs we had ever seen. Were these vests worn by Native American Indians? I asked. The chief looked at me and smiled. Yes, Malik. And they are still worn by our people today. He looked at all of us and said, Go down to the creek to meet your teacher. She's been preparing an exciting project I think you're really going to love. Malik, come see what I brought, said the teacher. I ran over and looked at it with excitement. Oh, what is it? It's a kimono, Malik. These lavish and embroidered robes are worn by Japanese women, men, and children, generally for tea time or ceremonies. There were enough kimonos for all of us to wear as our teacher served us tea on a large blanket. We each had a delicious cup of jasmine green tea. Our teacher started stirring large buckets of water, so I asked, Why does she keep stirring this dirty and murky water, Chief Lone Eagle? The tea your teacher is stirring is not to drink. It is to soak our t-shirts in, said the chief. It will turn them a brown color and make them look like leather after they dry. I remembered that our teacher told us that we would have a Thanksgiving lunch before the school break. I wanted to dress up like an American Indian, so I planned on wearing real leather pants with my shirt. Are we going to get to decorate these? I asked. Yes, Malik, we will, said the chief. We are going to fringe the sleeves with scissors. If you want, you can apply beads to the fringe pieces. We can also paint Native American symbols of your choice directly on your shirts. Just like tribes have different outfits, countries all around the world have different clothing too. In Africa, the dashiki and bubu are traditional outfits. Ornate V-shaped collars, head ties, and beautiful dyed indigo robes are worn in all the African countries. What would you pack if you made a trip to Antarctica? Asked the chief. It is so cold, you would need a parka, gloves, boots, a warm hat, and a scarf. Just like the Native American tribes, each country has unique clothing that is particular to their culture and their way of life. Scarves and berets in France, kilts in Scotland, saris in India, lederhosen and dirndls in Germany, flamenco dresses in Spain. The next day, we all picked up the shirts we had made. Ayana and I kept looking at them and giggling. They were so beautiful. As we walked home, we talked about how interesting this had all been and how we both couldn't wait until the next gathering with the chief. Mm -hmm.